Fortinet NSE 4-4 Shios 5.6. Fortinet NSE 4 underscore FGT-5.6 free dumps. 1. Which of the following statements about advanced AD access mode for the FSO collector agent are true? Choose 2. A. Fortigate can act as an LDAP client to configure the group filters. B. It is only supported if DC agents are deployed. C. It supports monitoring of nested groups. D. It uses the Windows convention for naming. That is, domain backslash username. Answer, Abe. 2. Which of the following upset parameters is a phase 2 configuration setting? A. Peer ID. B. Extended authentication, XOTH. C. Quick mode selectors. D. Authentication method. Answer, C. 3. Which of the following actions are available under the System Information widget for System Configuration? Choose 2. A. Backup. B. Upload. C. Checkpoint. D. Configuration Recovery. E. Restore. Answer, Abe. 4. Which of the following are differences between IPSEC Main Mode and IPSEC Aggressive Mode? Choose 2. A. Aggressive Mode supports XOTH while main mode does not. B6 packets are usually exchanged during main mode, while only 3 packets are exchanged during aggressive mode. C. The first packet of aggressive mode contains the pure ID, while the first packet of main mode does not. D. Main mode cannot be used for dialogue VPNs, while aggressive mode can. Answer, BC. 5. Which ways can Fortigate deliver one-time passwords OTPS, to two-factor authentication users in your network? Choose 3. A. Hardware 40 token. B. Web portal. C. SMS. D. USB 40 token. E. 40 token mobile. Answer, ACE. 6. Which file names will match the asterisk? TIFF file name pattern configured in a DLP filter? Choose 2. A. TIFF dodge peg. B. TIFF dot TIFF. C. G. I. F. dot TIFF. D. TIFF dot PNG. Answer, B. C. 7. An administrator needs to inspect all web traffic, including Internet web traffic, coming from users connecting to SSL VPN. How can this be achieved? A. Disabling split tunneling. B. Configuring web bookmarks. C. Assigning public IP addresses to SSL VPN clients. D. Using web-only mode. Answer, A. 8. What step is required to configure an SSL VPN to access to an internal server using port forward mode? A. Configure the virtual IP addresses to be assigned to the SSL VPN users. B. Install 40 client SSL VPN client. C. Create a SSL VPN realm reserved for clients using port forward mode. D. Configure the client application to forward IP traffic to a Java applet proxy. Answer, D. Real questions collected from real test. Enjoy one year free update. If fail, 100% money back guarantee. Files sent in both PDF and software. Big discount. 25% off. HTTPS colon slash slash www.passer.com slash nse4 underscore fgt-5.6.html Why choose password?